Bellbenders are Tennessee's largest salamander. They were more abundant back in the 80s, but numbers are starting to rise again, and that's thanks to conservation efforts. Shelby Mack joins us with more as these critters, they were just released again this week. Shelby, tell us all about it. So Mark, the Nashville Zoo, TWRA, and surrounding universities have been working on hellbender conservation efforts for years. They decided to take action after noticing many eggs were not surviving in the wild into adulthood. They started a Head Start program to collect hellbender eggs from the wild and raise them in a conservation facility for three to six years at the Nashville Zoo. The annual release happened yesterday and today with 27 of these large salamanders being put back into Tennessee waterways. Graduate students will track these salamanders for years to come with pit tags. Officials tell me the river site where the release happened was picked based on two factors, cleanliness and the presence of wild hellbenders. Dale McGinty, the Nashville Zoo curator of ectotherms, says, quote, we are seeing increased success over time. Hellbender populations in Middle Tennessee have been shown to have low genetic variation while also being genetically unique from all other populations. We are releasing hellbenders in different streams from which they were collected as eggs to properly increase gene diversity of individual historically connected subpopulations, end quote. Coming up on News 2 at 6, we'll talk about the process the hellbenders go through before they are released, Mark. We wish them well on their new journey there. All right,